So, you want to make a bomb rush cyberpunk model. Okay, but I can't guarantee you're gonna have a butthole by the end of this. If you've heard those lines before, congratulations, you've seen my other tutorial video, which was on the Ikewa method. This is not on the Ikewa method, this is on the Gygus method. The Gygus method is a new method that allows you to import Bomb Rush Cyberfunk models with all sorts of different features. This includes most of the features that were available in the Ikewa method. So, why use this method instead of the Ikewa method? The simple fact of the matter is that the Gygus method is updating insanely fast. So fast, in fact, that this tutorial would likely be obsolete in a week. I mention that specifically because this tutorial should be used in tandem with the text guide. First link in the description. The general philosophy is this. The steps might change in small ways, but overall, watching this video will get you the gist of what you need to be doing. Again, once more to make it clear, do not just watch the video, check the text guide. In addition, if you have questions, don't leave them in the YouTube comments. Check out the Team Reptile Discord instead. I can't help you if you just tell me the texture's not working. I don't know what that means. Post it somewhere where people can see. Again, that's the Team Reptile Discord. Check the second link in the description. Okay, everyone stand the fuck back, I'm going to attempt to teach. First things first, let's talk about installing mods. Now last time on the last tutorial I didn't cover this, because the last tutorial was supposed to be unlisted and I'm a fucking moron and it was public instead. So this one is for all of you public people. Hello. At the current moment, there are two mod managers. One of them is made by Overwolf. Look him up. There is one mod manager, and it is called R2 Mod Manager. It is the other one you keep hearing about, Thunderstore, but without the spyware, because it's not made by Overwolf. And when I say it is the other one, I mean it literally, it's the same program. Alright, cool, install it on your computer. Go ahead, I'll wait. Okay, you done? Cool. Go here, type in Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. Doesn't really matter what user profile you use, ignore that. And navigate to Online Mods. Download Pepin X, you're gonna need it. Next, download any other mod. Just whatever you feel like. This is an important step, you can't skip it. Congratulations, you now have a plugins folder. Go to your settings, hit browse profile folder. Open the Beppin X folder. Look Jim, plugins. Open the folder. Third link time, scroll down, download the plugin. Open the zip file. Do you see this folder that says BRC custom characters? Drag it into the plugins folder. You have now successfully installed the plugin. If there is a problem, it is not your plugin installation. Unless Gygus releases a broken one, in which case, uh, ignore that. Alright, get the text tutorial up. If you are smart and savvy and not ostrich, you can probably read this text tutorial. It's pretty good. I, however, am stupid and dumb, which is why I made this visual tutorial for other stupids and dumbs like me. Right, so to start, go back to the third link. Yeah, I'm sorry. I hope you didn't close that. That's on me. You're gonna want to download the thing that says Unity Project. Gonna be important. Not yet, but important. Next, we're gonna need a model. If you're importing a model from something else, know the following. DAE FBX. Those carry skeletons. .obj files don't carry skeletons. Don't ask me where it is. It's not there. There are other formats that carry skeletons like .pmx and .mesh, but if you're importing one of those, you probably didn't need me to tell you that. I am feeling particularly stupid and dumb today, so we're importing the Noid. That's right, we're importing the fucking Noid. I've lost control of my life. Import your FBX. Whoops. Import your FBX and make sure these settings are on. Automatic bone orientation and ignore leaf bones. Okay, less frightening. Now, if you did the previous method, you might know that I did a bunch of weight painting and stuff for the bones. You don't have to do that here. Just know that the face bones are still there. I'm just gonna hide them on another layer so you can see a bit easier. First things first, we're going to rename some bones. I'll show examples of me renaming all the bones on the screen. You should be able to do it yourself if you follow along. The bones you need to rename are hand L, hand R, foot L, foot R, leg two, in this case, that would be like your shin, L and R, head. Rename this thing right here to root and you're done. Next up, set up a material. If your material isn't working like the Noid over here, this is what you do. You make sure that the only texture input over here in shading is your image texture for the diffuse setting. That's your base color setting. It's also known as diffuse. Plug image in here. If there isn't an image and you don't know how to use nodes, that's fine. Here's how you do it without it. Click the yellow circle, navigate over to image texture, load your image. If you have multiple materials, download the Blender add-on material combiner and watch a tutorial on that specifically. Then come back here. You should now have one model with one diffuse texture. Okay, the Noid is now unfortunately ready for combat. Select both the skeleton and the mesh. Navigate up to object and apply all transforms. It is now time for the Noid to leave the Blender Sphere. Set up your FBX export settings exactly like this. Not entirely sure that this will be necessary in the future, but for now, just follow these steps. Set path mode to copy, hit the blue box up here. Make sure it's selected objects only. Set scaling to FBX all. Come down here and turn off add leaf bones and ship it off. 
One last thing to note, if your scale is off in-game when you finally get the model in, that scale right here is what you're going to touch. All right, next up, you're going to need to install Unity. If you go to the start of the text document, you can find exactly which version of Unity to download. If you're not using the text document, despite me telling you to use the text document, it's Unity version 2021 3.27 F1. Also, please load up the text document. It's there for a reason. Okay, next go back to the third link and download this. It's a Unity project. You need it for Unity purposes. Extract everything into its own custom folder. Now you're gonna go into Unity and you're gonna load your project like this. All right, you're in. Import your FPX by dragging and dropping. Come over here, hit Extract Textures. Come over here, set the rig to Humanoid and press Apply. Okay, now go into Configure. Make sure the bones that I said prior were set correctly. Your head's in the head spot, your foot's in the foot spot, etc., etc. Don't worry, you'll know if you're doing it wrong soon enough. Go up here, press this, and you're in. Welcome to the character screen. This is gonna be the final screen you really see in Unity. It's got everything you need in it. It's got how you name your character, it's got how you set the texture for your character, and you'll see your character is holding the spray can and the phone. If these are in the right position, go up here and press this button. This will lock it so that way those objects stay visible when you're doing the preview. Now go and select your prop L and your prop R bones and move them around until they're in the right spot, you think. This is gonna be trial and error. There's no hard and fast method for this, sorry. Check your boost preview and do the same thing by pressing this switch and then moving the thing. I put it on his butt because I'm five. Finally, to check the inline skates, hit this button here and it's the exact same process. If you have additional alt textures, not to worry, let's set those up real quick. Create a new material, import your image. Go to your new material, drag the image into the albedo section. That's where your diffuse is. You're done, that's your alt. Go in here and set it up. Okay, you're nearly done. What you're gonna do now is export the model. Hit this button right here, it'll load up the folder for you. Navigate to your plugins, navigate to the BRC custom character folder, and drag in your custom character into the care assets folder. You're done. Congratulations, you've imported a character into Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. Now I'm gonna quickly rapid fire some FAQ questions. How do I do dynamic bones? I don't know, uh, we had a script in the Ikewa method. Uh, if you can get that working in the Gygas method, it should work. If not, you can buy the Dynamic Bones plugin off the Unity store. Woo! I have an issue and the thing is not working and your tutorial is bad and I hate you. Come down to the Team Reptile Discord. We'll help you out and say that to my face, you piece of shit. The Gygus mod is updated and I am in intense pain. That's why there is a text guide. This is supplementary material. Okay, that's everything. Bye.